I originally got this USB bank charger um, just because I have a ton of 18650 batteries from um, laptops. Um, the solar panel was pretty neat. I was like, oh, maybe I'll charge it by the sun. But the cool part is it does have a LED light panel on the side. So it had some more uses and it had a uh, 2 amp fast charging, 1 amp normal charging. But I found out quickly most of the cheap Chinese ones that are built with batteries are in them. This was just a kit that put your own batteries in there. The batteries are so underpowered, like they might say it's a 15 thousand milliamp while it might only be a thousand milliamp or, um, what I have in here is I already forget because how old this is is four or five two thousand milliamp batteries that were tested and fully charged this can charge uh, probably two cell phones and a Kindle uh, left out in the Sun all weekend uh, even on a three-day weekend with bright Sun like we are having now it will not move one bar. That indicator is telling them that it's charging. Right now the battery is completely drained. Well, not completely drained, but if I press this, that LED light is blinking because the battery's dead. Uh, but this has been sitting out here for, in this really good sun, um, it's been sitting out here for three hours, it has not moved. Like I said, I haven't seen this move one single bar um, doing over a weekend. It kind of makes sense because this solar panel, I forget how small of watt, I don't even think it's a watt. That makes sense when I have almost 8,000 milliamp hours of power in here. That's, so I got this free from a friend and this is a 10 watt, 12 volt solar panel. The only problem with that is then you have it doesn't exactly charge these charge these 18650s very well because you can't you have to have a balance charger and all that stuff uh, so I hooked one of those up for a 3s system um, I got this solar controller which really isn't going to do much for controlling the charge on here but it is going to tell me the voltage and the level of it which is kind of nice my original plan was just going to mount this in the window in the corner i had trim around it and it did nothing that's because i did it in the summer and the sun's pretty straight up and down here in the midwest didn't move it uh, if i have it in an angle in my window in the winter time it does phenomenal um, i can get a full charge in one or two days and that's on a pack of four in parallel and they're all about 1500 milliamp or more now this has enough power to be charging two kindles two cell phones and still have plenty left over i probably overdid it but if someone to make a panel like this system where you had a controller and a balance charger and if you only put maybe three 18650s or six eight six 18650s you can charge a cell phone off of this solar looking at the size of this i don't see this as something practical to be taken out in the field i've seen some that fold up which are a, few, a handful of these um, i could see that maybe if you had four of these charging up but still you're almost better off just having a bank charger to bring with you i don't think you can really rely on the sun um, it might get you emergency so if you're someone that has extra batteries and maybe some of these little panels laying around randomly yeah sure it's a fun build but honestly the solar panel charging of these is pretty useless considering most cars have USB chargers in them by now um, yeah just a power just a normal power bank it's all you really need on the go hiking or something I wouldn't rely on the solar.